Hey guys, what's up? This I'm running here back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take better photos from your OnePlus 5, especially in low light conditions. So let's get started. So in this frame, we can see there are a few objects are there. There's a plant on the wall, then there's Tazbi, and then there is a sofas, couple of sofas, and then there's, there's a bottle. So I'm gonna take photos of this in different settings and show you which are the best. So first let's start with the photo in the basic mode of the OnePlus 5. Over here if you go you can see the picture is quite dark. The sofas are hardly visible, the plant and the tasbih is visible and the bottle is also visible but this photo is clearly not good enough for us. So what I am going to do, I will try and keep the HDR as non-auto that it should be always on and let's see how the picture comes now. <coughs> Sorry, so over here you can see the picture is better than the previous one but there's a lot of noise just especially on the sofa part it's very blur and it's not visible especially on the sofa towards the right side rest objects are visible so now I'm gonna go in the pro mode and let's try something different first I'll change the exposure to plus one from auto and let's see how the photo comes Okay, now let's click the photos. Over here you can see the photos is much better than the previous HDR photos. The sofas look quite clear and sharp but over here you can see the Tasbi is hardly visible and the plant is totally disappeared due to overexposure. Over here you can see this is the previous image with HDR mode in which it looks quite blur and quite noisy on the sofa and this one is quite clear but still the plant and the tasbih is hardly visible due to the overexposure of light ok so let's now try to take photo in a different more settings I would change I would rather increase the shutter speed to 0.5 seconds for this image and I will change the ISO to 100 and let's see how the photo comes so over here you can see the photo is even more exposed as compared to the previous photos and uh, the tasbi is now barely visible and the plant is totally disappeared but the couple of sofas look pretty nice and the bottle is also clear visible so if you ask me this photo is better than the previous photos except if you can ignore the plant part and the tasbi part now let's change the shutter, shutter speed back to the 100 and ISO to the auto and <coughs> this time what I'm gonna do is I will take a random photo and let's see how it looks so over here you can see when I change the ISO shutter speed to to an auto it, it was very dark image over here you can see I've changed the exposure to 1 plus 1 and I can focus tap on focus on objects which I want to be there on the frame so I will what I will do is I will try to take the photo of the plant and let's see how it comes so over here you can see that the only the plant is visible and the tasbi on the wall is barely visible rest is totally dark over here you can see that by moving this anchor I can change the different exposure levels in the photos and I'll click again a photo and over here you can see this is also a very poor photo so that's it guys ultimately it ups to it's totally up to you what kind of photo you want whether you want a complete detail in the photo all the objects should be there or rather you want to focus on a couple of things in the image which you would prefer to be seen so I have shown you a couple of tricks how to take photos of different types of photos in low light level and one plus five and now it's totally up to you to decide which one you like. Thanks for watching the videos until next time take, take care bye bye and have a nice day.